gonna show them what the last one is. It was not good. And I wanna be able to do a handle this time. I don't like these baskets. I don't know what they're supposed to be. The three. Yeah. The three. Those three dobbies? Yeah. That's on this edge. That goes on the, um, the three dots goes on your bat pins. Yeah. yeah. I pretty much just have the bat <laughs> in your hands, so <laughs> that way you can really see the piece you're working on. Good deal. Alright, so when I open it up, I want this to be a little bit, you know, loose here. Because when I open it up, it's going to naturally force those walls out because I'm going straight down to the back pen, sure. back okay. head. Um. And it, I'm leaving that wall because I want to trim that, you know, again, you leave it a bit thicker so you can... But yep, so now we're... Would you like to sit here, Bunny? Because nope. I think you have nope. a really good shot from here. I'm I'm showing that she actually went down into the onto the yep all the way down so yeah bottomless okay Amy you're <laughs> magical <laughs> Abby yeah. sorry that's all right I'm, I'm glad I'm, I stopped <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that I have a whole bunch to pull out for that flange to go over the lip. Sorry, a lot of measuring for lids. There we go. So you're measuring the base that you just pulled out? Yep, I'm measuring true. down here because this is the piece that's going to sit down into the pot. Okay. So I want it, you know, you want it to be, it's easier to have it a little bit big and you can trim some out but too little and it's going to be wobbling all over the place. You yeah. know, you want it to be a pretty tight fit. And then I'm going to leave this extra and that'll be pulled out the, later. The, the only thing is that on that pot, it goes in fairly rapidly. You, does which, it not, which pot are you making it for? The one upside down, right? Yeah. Yep. But, but that goes in pretty rapidly, so you can have the flange too long. It won't be too long. No, but I can cut that out. Right. But generally, I, mean, I want it to be about the size. I mean, you want it relatively Like the other, size. you're the one you just threw, that flange is, that's close to pretty much, that'll yeah. work. Yeah, yep. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of clay. If anything, I just have way too much, but we'll, we'll play with it. Okay, this one's gonna be really easy because I have an insane amount of clay. But you can so just now we know. Let's start with more. Yeah, we're gonna cut off some of this extra. So you'll see it's really thick. Should I have a sponge? There it is. Okay. Because I still want this wall, I mean, this is still a wall in here, so I mean, you don't want it to be too... It thin. reminds me of those, those, those Indian cooking pots. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do know about. I believe they're Indian, aren't they not? <coughs> I'm not Mon sure, but I Mongolian know. or something. Yeah, yeah. They've got a base and then they, and uh, they, they were used like a crock pot. Okay. Okay, so we just keep working it in. It technically still has a little bit of a hole here. And we can just kind of... And you can turn that into a knob. Mm -hmm. I suppose if you want, you could just put it, it together and, and you could actually twist it down like, a, you know, where, what you want with it. You could... yep. So now I've sealed it. So now there's that air pressure inside. So now I can kind of just push on it. I mean, depending on how you want it. Now I could have. That looks much more oriental than the other, I believe. Well, then I can yeah. pick and choose. Which yeah, so I mean, we could make it just like, I mean, I could push this down and we could have a really, you know, like, 
tall knob and mm -hmm. I could have sealed that here and then reopened it on kind of a really long which would have been kind of cool um, or you can I mean I can flatten this out this is Abby demonstrating <laughs> <laughs> you know we can flatten that out I don't really like I want to get some of this out I mean, this is where you're just kind of playing with what you want this. But here, we have got a ton of weight here. So now we're going to pull this flange out. Like you're, like you're almost making a plate. Yeah, or, yep. If you, if you so did. that's, I'm just pulling this like straight out. So I'm going, here is, right here is where my base of my wall is down here. So I'm kind of starting my pull right from in there. And pushing against that, and then I catch it with my finger on the bottom, and then so you, you have two pieces of clay coming together at that point, correct? Right here. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Because that's my finger is directly over where this and bottom wall is. Are you concerned about air getting in that? You know, in between those two pieces. No, because this is all one piece. Like this is all connected. What do it you mean? Well, it seems to me like it was like this, and then you sort of. Because this was just a lump. This was just like oh, that little lump. lump. Okay. Yeah, and so I'm just. It wasn't like two separate pieces. No, not two separate pieces. Yeah, so okay. I'm just pulling that extra weight. Okay, thanks. And we're just pulling it straight out. And so you, can now, cut, you can cut that off. You can cut that off. If you don't want it to sit out, if you just want it to come to the edge of the pot, then I would take this, measure, like, okay, here's the edge of my pot. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go out, like, quarter inch, because that's how oops, thick my wall is. And then you'd cut that off, and that would be your edge. But you don't want to leave that weight. I mean, it was too too much weight. So then you can, if you like that flange, you can leave it. Now you can leave this, I mean, you know, very domed, and you could make that more mm -hmm. obvious. Yeah, it's kind of fun once it gets to this point because you can, I've played with it enough where then you end up screwing it up because it just, you overwork it. It's, it is fun because you have that air pressure in there and so you can really kind of just play with what you want. Okay, we can repeat the flange that we already have going on out here. Okay. Sorry, I wish I had my mirror. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'll have to bring a mirror in next Monday. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. I could bring my I just mean, it's just, it's, I'll remember that though when I'm look, on my wheel. Yeah, because just the look from above, you're yeah. like, okay, that's maybe okay, but you know, what does it look like? Like, I can't see from underneath, there's a little bit of a ridge here, so we right. can attempt to. We have a big mirror here, we could carry it. So that is the upside down lid. That is amazing. I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you like that knobby up there or not. 